up guys? How many weeks out are we? We are nine weeks out. Nine weeks out with the homie bleed and today we got deadlifts. And I know for you last week you're like, fuck, I couldn't even finish. So you were yeah. kind of going into the workout already kind of like semi-defeated. Mm -hmm. But if you guys watch, Glee straight up crushed it. What do you think was the difference? What do you think made the difference? Uh, I think it was rest and it was mindset. Yeah. Um, last week I definitely uh, went in not you know, already thinking, oh, this is fucking heavy. Yeah. Today I was like, oh, this is fucking heavy, but then... You're smoking them, though. Yeah, yeah. So I think with you and Nadim saying, like, dude, just pull in those little cues, and then just having somebody tell you it looks good, you know? Yeah. And uh, one thing I did this time around, half force, half now, was I took the whole weekend off. So what bar program means that I want to get bigger, I do have bodybuilding on the weekends. But this past weekend, since we had a barbell shoot, uh, and Saturday I hung out with my girlfriend, uh, I, I just took the weekend off. Girlfriend ruins out. gains, man. But oh. the rest felt great. Monday squats were good, and coming in Wednesday, I wasn't sore today, and yeah, I think with the proper rest and all the hot tubbing, the hot tubbing is helping a lot. I sleep like a baby with the hot tub. That's awesome. So Brandon's running a, a modified version of the Kaizen six day power builder program with more of an emphasis on powerlifting. Cause we're both competing for me just to catch you guys up if you guys don't know what the journey is about. And he also wants to put on some size. So there's a lot of bodybuilding exercises, but you know, when you're training so much, it's easy to fatigue your main lifts, especially with all the shit that we got going on. Bleed, I don't know if you guys know, I know you guys probably don't know, uh, cause you guys are, are only see the in front of the scenes, you guys only see behind the scenes stuff, but Bleed really stepped it up this year. He's a manager for the Barbell Brigade channel. He manages Just Kidding Party. Uh, what else are you doing? Uh, I AD on sets for Barbell. I edit for Barbell. I'm also a cameraman. And then JK, I'm also on camera when needed. Yeah. And he owns a home. You gotta worry about and a mortgage. And admin for the office. Admin for the office. And now he's trying to lift and be a power lifter okay. for a meet. He's trying to catch up to this guy's schedule. So there's a lot of shit he has going on. So I'm really proud of Lee because he's still like really yeah. devoting the time and getting it in. And um, but sometimes you gotta dial it back a little bit, like because six days might have been too much. So, I had to humble myself. Yeah. I was kind of scared too, actually, because um, I've been, so I, I started kind of like three or four weeks before you, and that's why when you were down to jump on the meet, I was like, hey, I kind of been prepping already. I'll do it too. And so I started off, you guys know I had like a hurt back, and I started off really light, 315 for sets of five, and I slowly built yep. it by almost 100 pounds now. I'm like at 425, five by five, on the stiff bar still. So I'm really excited to see what that transforms to on the deadlift bar when I really get there. But I feel really good and it feels good to have a training partner because like you, sometimes, you know, when you get into the third, fourth set, you're like, fuck, you kind of just want to call it quits. But when you got someone to keep you accountable, it really, really helps out. Yeah. I think the biggest significance, um, we touched upon a little bit before in another video, but just to catch you guys up, um, Lee has been dealing with Graves' disease for a while. So he couldn't really get stronger, he couldn't really put on size. And because of that, uh, he was also slightly depressed a little bit and he had anxiety and he just wasn't hitting even life goals and business goals. Hell no. He got that taken care of and I've seen this huge emergence of motivation in both the barbell JK side and now he's tackling his athlete and he's just hitting like every single aspect of life at 100% on all fronts, you know, like bam, my job, bam, my girlfriend, bam, <laughs> my lifting. Yeah. So I'm excited to see where Bleed's gonna be at for this meet. And even though we could have probably chose something further down the line, but I think it's always... We have to do it at home, man. Yeah. I think we have to compete at home, like like you said. Nobody at working at Barbell has ever competed because most of us work at the meet. Yeah. So I'm excited to be, you know, at home in LA with my friends, uh, with my family and friends around to cheer us on. So I'm excited, man. I feel reborn. I literally feel like I came out the womb again and I'm experiencing life again. And yeah, I, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Hell yeah, so I'm actually more excited 
uh, for Bleed than I am for myself. So I'm always trying to keep a watchful and I make sure that um, he's able to hit all his numbers and program even more strategically for him than for me. So um, if you guys are around town, I believe it's June 29th, is it? 29th. 29th, come down to the Barbell Brigade Gym. That's where the powerlifting meet's gonna happen. And if you wanna come train with us, go to kaizentraining.com in the link below. Um, we will be continuously training our ass off and hopefully we get some good numbers. Except next week. Next week we're, next week we're deloading God. and then we're gonna hit hard again. See you guys next time. Oh yeah, just restocked on these white parallax tees. If you guys wanna catch one, go to barlowbrigade.com. Link is also in the description below. Below, below. Go check that out, see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, and these dope socks. Oh yeah, and these dope socks. Dun-da-da-da! -da -da. Thank you.